Hey ladies, it's Crystal and today I wanted to show you a really pretty combination using sexy, feisty, glamorous, and devious. This is a really pretty daytime look, evening look, or even a holiday look. So we're going to get started and we're going to go ahead and get started using sexy and we're going to apply this right under our brow bone. So what I do is I take my brush and I dip it in the rose water if you have the rose water. If you don't have the rose water, tap water works just fine. I knock a little bit out into my lid and then I make a paste with it. And if you get it too wet, it's not going to apply just right. It won't show a, you know, enough color. If you get it just sort of a wet paste, not super pasty, not super wet, then you're going to have the perfect application. It goes on really nice and smooth. So I've got a little bit here on my brush, as you can see, and I'm going to go ahead and apply this under my brow area. And I always like to come on in to the inside of my inner eye area just as a nice highlight. It just opens your eyes up there. Okay, and I know that's all <laughs> jacked up a little bit right there. We're going to fix that. I just basically slap it on. And I go back and blend. Blending is key, especially using our pigments because the colors are really vibrant. So if you don't blend good, then you're maybe going to look like a hot mess. And I have done that before. Okay, so I'm just putting that on my other eye here. Okay, if you can see, I've got sexy on both eyes. Okay, so now we're going to start with feisty. Feisty is a really pretty silver color, and that's why I said it's really pretty for the holidays. So I have my brush wet. I'm actually using Unique's Deluxe Brush, and I don't know if you can see that or not, but I have a paste in the lid that may be blurry because nobody is behind the camera right now, so I don't know if it focused or not. So I've got Feisty on my brush, and I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my entire lid area. And I really love this color because it is this really pretty shimmery silver color, but it's not like your 80s silver. <laughs> you won't look um, too overdone with this color. It's just really complimentary, I think, on anyone. Okay, and if you see, I go a little bit above my crease area, and I just apply it to my entire lid and above my crease area there. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye, and I'm just making sure I coat my brush good with it. This color is a bit lighter, so I do get a little more on my brush than I would a darker color. But as you can see, it goes on so nice and smooth. It's really easy to put on. It's just it's very silky. And another thing I didn't mention, I have got um, Unique's Glorious Primer on under the eye pigments. It really holds your color into place. Okay, I think I've got this eye a little bit darker. Let me apply just a tad bit more to my left eye here. Make sure they're even. Okay. All right. So those two colors by themselves, I think, are really pretty. If you wanted to just wear sexy and feisty, you would, you know, it would look really great. But we're going to go a step further, and we're going to apply some color. I'm using Unique's crease brush here, and again, I've got it wet, and I'm going to um, dab it here in Glamorous. Glamorous is a really pretty plum purple. It is a matte color. It's not shimmer. But we're going to just apply this in the crease area and sort of the outer V area of my eye. So I'm going to start at the bottom here, just above my lash line, and I go ahead and literally make a V, and you can push your brush into your crease and go ahead and bring it all the way to the inner part of your eye, but we're staying in the crease only. And I'm coming just a tad bit above. I like to wear my shadows um, a little bit higher than my crease area because I don't have very deep set eyes. Okay, so you can see I've got that there and of course we're going to fix the lines here in just a second. Like I said, we're going to go back and blend. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get some for this eye. And again, in the crease area, just make your V. You can do this same technique with any color that you want. 
I recommend always putting a lighter color over your lid and a darker color in your crease to accentuate your eyes. Okay, go ahead and go all the way into your inner lid or inner eye, sorry. Apparently I cannot talk and put makeup on at the same time. I usually don't know what I'm saying until I go back later and watch the video. Okay, and even though Glamorous is a matte color, when you put it over the Feisty, which is a shimmer, it gives Glamorous a little bit of a shimmer as well. So it looks really pretty together. So I hope you can see that. Now, if you don't want to wear liner, you don't have to. It's pretty just like this. But if you want to put liner on, which I typically do, then we're going to do that. And we're going to go ahead and use Unique's Liner Shader Brush. And you've got a liner end and a shader end here. We're going to use the liner end, and I always dip that in water as well. And we're going to use Devious. Devious is a really pretty shimmery black color. And I wear this uh, either Devious or Corrupted a lot for my shadows. Uh, I'm sorry, for my liners. So we're going to go ahead, and I know you're not supposed to pull on your eye, but I've got to get a nice straight line. So you are literally going to draw a line right there above your lash line area. And go ahead and go to the inside of your eye. Nice straight line over. You see how easy that went on? You can make it darker, you can make it lighter, you can blend it or not if you like a more of a defined line. It's totally up to you. That's why I love working with these pigments. They're so versatile and they just go on so nice. And the other thing I love about them is they stay on all day long. I've always had issues with creasing with other eyeshadows that I've used, but I never have an issue with our shadows creasing and um, the key there too is using the primer, the glamorous, I'm sorry, the glorious primer. Okay, so see how pretty that is? That's a really pretty color combination. Now we're going to go back with my brush and we're going to blend. So I just actually have an old brush and I just use the small end of it and I go on the outside of the area just to blend it in and get rid of any harsh lines there. Blending is so super important. If you don't blend, you're not going to have it look the way you want it to look. And I have a lot of ladies ask me, you know, how do I get mine to look a certain way? It really is in the blending. Okay, now I'm going to go back with the other end that I had applied sexy with earlier. And I'm going to go ahead and just smooth out my inner corners. And I just kind of take it around. Make sure all of that is blended in. And if you'll notice, it doesn't wipe away. It's just blending in nicely. Another thing I like too, if you ever apply the color too dark, um, especially a shimmer, if you'll give it just a second to dry, if you're applying them wet, give it a second to dry and you can go back with your brush and blend it in and it lightens it up really nicely. Okay, so I think, I think we're even from what I can tell. I think we're good. So that is our pretty look for today. We are using, once again, Sexy. If you don't have Sexy, you can use Curious, which is a really pretty shimmery white. We are using Feisty um, for our silver color. We're using Glamorous for our purple, and we're using Devious for our liner. And again, if you don't have Devious, you can use Corrupted, which is a flat black. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.